it's Mike with TechVV, and we're going to do the review on the Infinity Legend. Now, I know it took me a little while to get to this gun, but we finally got to it. <laughs> and Brian, not a moment too soon right now, because they're on closeout for $350 over on Infinity's website. So, uh, let's go ahead and jump right into the maintenance of it, and what we'll do is we'll take it out and do an efficiency test on it, and then we'll come back in and do a conclusion. Okay, so while we've got the camera up close, let's go ahead and weigh the marker. Make sure we're teared out here. Slide this up in a little better of a spot. And let's press hold. Two pounds, 9.2 ounces. Two pounds, 9.2 ounces. And there's your battery. As you can see, marker does turn on. Now, what we're going to do is let's go ahead and take it apart. Now, they come with custom products, accessories on it. So you, I already have a video up showing you how to take apart the regulator so we can save some time there. And this marker is probably one of the easiest markers to ever take apart. Out comes the bolt, which they do have a flat face bolt or a soft touch bolt. Uh, I believe it's like an extra $20 or $30 or something like that. It's basically a lot like the Angel um, soft touch bolt if you wanted to go with that. I believe the stock board that comes on the Infinity Legend is the Waz board. I would probably, if you were going to pick one of these up, even though it's on sale for $350, bucks, i would probably pay the extra $50 and get the Tadao board. Obviously, Tadao is in business. Wicked Air Sports is not. And, you know, I think if you have a problem with your board, you're better off just having something in there that's going to be warrantied, or at least is going to have the customer service backing it. So let's go ahead and slide the ram out, and out comes the spring. Now, how this marker functions is it's an air forward spring back. Now, I know a lot of people that, that kind of turns them off, but honestly, I mean, with a very slight vibration that you feel when you're shooting it, you probably would never know the difference. Um, spring does not affect its performance whatsoever out there on the field. Uh, the simple ram design is great. I mean, that's basically it. You got one O-ring there, you got a bumper O-ring there, and you have the spring. So what we'll do is we'll just take a little bit of lubricant here personal lubricant because if it's your lubricant it's personal so let's go ahead and put on the a little bit on the o-rings here and then what we'll do is we'll slide the ram back in and that's basically one o-ring you got the spring and that's it I mean, not much to it and the screw that goes down through the grip frame is what holds this in place so you just got to be a little bit patient when you're threading the screw through the grip frame to make sure that you line the hole up Okay, but that's it in terms of it's a single regulator design, so it just uses one regulator. It's actually a really good regulator. It's a custom products regulator. And we'll just drive the screw back down. And then once we finish up here, we'll take it out to the field and do an efficiency test. I know a lot of people are going to be curious about the efficiency test on the Legend just because it is a spring return. A lot of people have theories that, you know, maybe it'll, uh, uh, maybe since it is a spring return, you save a little bit of air on the return stroke. There we go. I mean, you basically just maintained your Infinity Legend. So let's take it out to the field. Hey, what's up, fellas? It's Mike from TechBB, and we're about to do the efficiency test on the Infinity Legend. Now, the first thing I want to show you is that we're sitting right around about 4,300 PSI on the gauge. And now what I'm gonna do is let's do a tank temperature reading. Should be able to see that we are sitting right around about 75 degrees, 73 degrees on the tank temperature reading. And I'm gonna set the chrono down and let's go ahead and shoot a couple of the chronograph. We've already dumped in our first pod. And hopefully you should be able to see that we are sitting right around That looks like we're a little hot. Let's turn this down just a smidge. About 299, 294, so we're good there. Sitting right around about 295, 298. I'm gonna set the uh, chronograph aside here. And we'll just start shooting till we're done. Now we're shooting RPS Premium. This is their uh, uh, green and gold mix. 
and uh, we're also testing out the Empire Prophecy LTD. Like getting frostbite on the fingers, so. <laughs> yeah. well, that's about it. Go ahead and dump that back in. Cool. It's a pod. Almost, yeah, pretty much a full pod. Okay, so out of the... Um, okay, so two, four, six, eight. Probably about an eight and a third out of the uh, Infinity Legend. And let me, let me show you, let me get the, uh, let me show how cold that got. So people aren't like, Mike, 21 degrees. <laughs> yeah, I knew it hurt. <laughs> okay, so there was the efficiency test. Overall, what did I think of the Legend? I think, right, I mean, at its closeout price of $350, I think it's a great deal. Add another couple bucks to get the Tadao board, and I think it's a great deal. You know, yes, it is a heavier gun than a lot of the guns that are on the market right now. Two pounds, nine ounces. You know, it is definitely a heavier marker, but this marker was primarily designed for semi-auto play. Even though the board's got all the functions that you would need to use it, you know, out there on the PSP, the trigger and how it's designed and the geometry of the trigger, this was definitely designed for semi-auto play. This is definitely a rugged, just a beast of a gun for semi-auto. The extra weight definitely allows you to continue to hold a very accurate stream downfield. I used this gun in some pretty cold conditions up here in Florida, playing in, you know, 20, 30, 40 degree weather. Now, I know in Canada it's like negative 1,000, I don't know. But anyway, you know, anything below 60 degrees generally spells trouble for paint, especially when you're using mid-grade tournament style paint like I am, we're shooting the premium. But I never broke a single ball with this gun. And, you know, we used it quite a bit. I put probably six to seven cases through it. Never broke a single ball. The eyes function perfectly. The detents function perfectly. The CP reg functions perfectly. And I just had no problems with this marker whatsoever. Very simple design. I know a lot of people, it's going to be difficult for them to get over the psychological part that it is a spring return. Springs don't wear out. They last forever. Okay, O-rings do. So get that out of your head. I mean, you do feel a little bit of vibration on the marker when you're shooting it. Just a very slight tinge. It's not a lot. It's not like it vibrates like a tuning fork or anything like that. But you do feel a little slight vibration when you're shooting it. But other than that, it feels great in the hands. You know, if you're looking for a little bit of a heavier gun, one with a little bit more meat on it for semi-auto, this is a great gun to get for the price. Clamping feed neck works great. It's a nice low-rise clamping feed rig, full Delrin bolt. Um, you know, custom products, accessories that are on. It's got a 14-inch, nicely ported barrel. Pretty quiet gun when you're out there on the field for a pop it. It's not as loud as some of the other pop it guns I've shot. But all in all, I think it's a great marker. I mean, I, I really didn't have a lot of expectations for the Legend when we were using it. But it never broke paint. It's great. It's consistent over the chronographs. 
not much to say other than it works great. So, you know, check out, uh, you know, Infinity Legend, their uh, their website. You know, like I said, they got them on closeout right now for 350 bucks. I really appreciate ANS Gear sending me out. I think it was one of their last ones they had in inventory for us to do the review. So, you know, all in all, I think, you know, I think for the price right now for $350, for the bone stock one, add another 50 for the Tadal board. I think it's a steal, honestly. It's it's a great feeling gun. Very, very simple. Nothing to it. As you guys saw, it's basically two O-rings in the whole gun. You've got the Ram O-ring and the bumper O-ring. So, I mean, I really liked it. I thought it shot great. So, you know, I, I, I got to say, you know, for $350, I definitely recommend them. Pick them up because I know they're going to probably sell out of them pretty fast. Thanks for tuning in.